Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and whether you are new or back I'm so glad that you're here and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing from Muni Made. This is a recent new release from Muni Made and the artist Femme Cadabra and very seasonally appropriate and I picked it up and I'm excited to get into it with you guys today. So I did go ahead and open up the box so that I um, could, you know, avoid sharing my address with you. But the name on this one is going to be Sugar Plum Fairy and it's a cute one, you guys. Let me let me give you a look at what we've got here. So it came wrapped and everything and Muni Made is a small shop in the diamond painting world. Um, they started out with, um, oops. Sorry to bump you. Um, they started out with selling diamond painting accessories, particularly their diamond painting trays are what they're most pro probably most well known for. And you know what? Getting a diamond painting kit is actually one of the quickest and easiest ways to access getting one of their trays because there is an option for a premium toolkit add-on where you'll get a matching tray that comes with the kit. But anyway, I digress. Let me show you what all is included. We had a cute little freebie. She always includes freebies with her kids and they're usually you know seasonal or coordinated uh, we have a coupon code for the artist's shop femme cadabra this is actually an artwork that um Muni made has the license to work on uh as a diamond painting kit rather that you can get in the shop and then here's their business card now Muni made just had a baby and just had surgery as of the time of this filming and so things you know they may be a little slow to respond or to get things out in the shop but you know small businesses let's be extra patient <laughs> um and understanding especially of that so there's a little thank you note from m the owner of muni made and you know what i don't think that i actually ordered the purple bag as an add-on this is an a feature this is a this is an add-on it doesn't come with the kit unless you order it um for a small additional cost so thank you so much to me for including that um there's there's different colors and i think it just depends on the size of the painting but it is nice because it gives some extra you know protection and it's cute and has the drawstring and whatnot um, but otherwise, you know, when I've ordered kits in the past, which yes, I did buy this one and order it myself, um, they, they'll they often just come in this plastic sleeve and also carefully wrapped in tissue in the box. And I've never had anything arrive damaged or anything like that. So let me open this up. I did choose to forego the toolkit. I actually really appreciate that the toolkits are optional. You can have a basic toolkit or you can get one of the upgraded like the premium upgrades that I mentioned and that is really honestly one of the easiest ways to get your hands on a muni made tray at this point especially because their you know restocks and everything have slowed down with um, the new addition to their family I'm sure that they're planning to try to um, kind of get back to normal soon but a baby change it changes things you're a little busy in those newborn days this is the artwork we're going to be looking at today again this is sugar pump fairy it's gonna have square drills 50 by 70 centimeters and cadabra is the artist i have completed a kit by this artist from me maiden i'll link to that review down in the description below if you want to see you know how muni maids kits tend to turn out especially from this artist i will say that i am really blown away by muni maids quality i think they do an incredible job with their kits so um here we have some info you can pause and read if you'd like here are their policies again feel free to pause if you like and some upcoming changes they may do good FYI's and then let's take a look oh one of their upcoming changes I know is I think that they're 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 maybe switching to a new supplier which I will be very curious to test out though that the new supplier when when that happens so anyway you guys oh she's cute and she's lit she's not that big I was like oh she's little but I mean 50 by 70 well, that's a nice size that's a really really nice size point oh this is adorable you guys look at that muni made hand charts their canvases and uh they are very much you know they're meticulous they are perfectionists they really really want to get this just right um they do a really nice job so roll that backwards really quick kind of just enjoy this cutie in the background here's what was included so we have our diamonds i will give you a closer look at those in just a little bit um, you're also going to get this sticker sheet and there's the original artwork again 
Sugar Plum Fairy, a spot chart your start and end date. There are the stats, 53,900 diamonds, 50 by 70 centimeters. And these are a set of, these are pre-cut sticker labels. There is both this long thin label here, and then these are stickers that you can pull out as well. So depending what kind of storage container or whatever system you like to use, you have the option of using you know, whichever work works best for you. I think especially if you use like the, the screw top bottles, if this is too big for that, you could just, you know, put the symbol, the little symbol sticker on it. So that's a, a neat inclusion. We do have the DMC code on the right hand side that comes from the DMC brand of floss is what most diamond painting companies use. With Muni made here at the end, you guys, we have some special drills <clears throat> included. We have five in total. I like that the background on those labels is different too. <laughs> um, and I'll tell you more about ABs when we're actually looking at the canvas, but we'll have five of those it looks like. Let me take you on a little tour of the canvas itself. So we have Muni made up here at the top. We have these scalloped and poked edges, so fraying should not be an issue. The backing is this kind of short lint, soft lint canvas that, you know, it almost feels like felt a little bit that a lot of diamond painting companies are using right now. Muni Maids is really nice quality. I haven't had issues with it laying flat. It, it has held drills really well on the ones I've completed, so no complaints. There's a clear plastic cover and very sticky poured glue. So we are going to have a legend. We have one at the bottom left and over here at the top right, there's also the thumbnail and the stats again, the model number, which I think that sticker will probably be on the bag as well. It's the skew, I should say. All 54 colors. Down here at the bottom left, there is the title and the artist's name, the size, and then um, copyright, that means that MuniMade has legally licensed this artwork from the artist. That means that the artist is both given permission for the use of their artwork and is being compensated for it as well. So MuniMade is above board in terms of licensing and is doing right by artists. And then here's their website and they even link to the artist's Instagram, which that is, I like that, that's a good feature. Uh, now looking at the canvas itself, the printing is very clear and there is some color blocking. Color blocking is when you have a lot of the same color in a small area, so you'll be able to multi-place if you like, and you'll have that color in your tray for longer. Um, it tends to go faster than areas with lots of confetti. Let me see if we have some confetti besides the little confetti sprinkles in our dress. Uh, I'll see if there's a, I think there might be a spot up here that'll have some confetti where I can explain what that is. Yeah, a little bit, you guys. Okay, so maybe a little bit in her hair, or even down here, like at the top of her dress, there's more color changes in a small area. So you'll maybe doing a little more like single placing and changing out the color in your tray more often. Areas like that'll take a little bit longer, but honestly, this kit looks like a color blocking dream. It looks amazing. Um, so I bet this would work up pretty quickly. The printing of the symbols is really clear. They seem to be pretty distinct from one another. No complaints. No complaints, you guys. Oh, this looks cute. I wish that I'd have time to complete this before the new year. Not even 100% sure when this unboxing is gonna go up, but right now it's just, is it the, yeah, it's the day after Christmas. So <laughs> I'm like, oh man, I wish I would have gotten into this sooner because this would have been really cute to work on as part of the holiday season. But um, we're at 69 and a half. Yeah, about 69 centimeters, but I might not be totally flat. I give companies a centimeter or two of wiggle room. Yeah, we're really at about 69 centimeters that way. We're listed as 70. And this way we're at, make sure I'm straight here, um, 49 and a half. So I'm still gonna call that true to size, you guys. I, so I give companies, all companies, a centimeter or two of wiggle room. Now let's take a look at these diamonds. It does have the skew on here. So if you store these, uh, the, the diamonds separate from the canvas and you know, like if you didn't get a bag with it or something, um, it's easy to match them up again later. I might also grab just like a Sharpie and a little label and write the name of the kit here too. If you care. Or maybe the colors would give it away. <laughs> All these pretty pinks and corals and some light blues too. Let's take a look though. All right, 
So one of the kits that I completed from Muni Made had square drills. It was not a Femke Debra kit. It was a kit by Tally Sketch, and the square drills were fantastic quality. Um, so on the baggies, these come in these resealable bags, which I know a lot of people really love that because then you don't have to like get up into storage containers. It's nice that it's an option. I personally am gonna go ahead and get these up into storage containers anyway. I just find baggies to be a little bit unwieldy, uh, maybe too klutzy for it. Uh, but it's nice that it's an option. So uh, the number that's right here, so like the number 15, that is gonna match up with right here the number 15, kind of the colorless number. And then 552, that is the DMC code, 552. So that is what those numbers are gonna indicate on here. And then if you were just working out of baggies, you could take those stickers from that color sheet over there and put them on the bags if you wanted. Yeah, even the 310s, those look really good, you guys. We have some pinks and reds. Um, but yeah, no complaints from what I remember. I'll link to that review too. <laughs> Any Muni Made kits I've completed, there'll be reviews below. Uh, the square drills, I have not had issue with. And I think even though they are looking at switching manufacturers, I think as of right now, whatever they have in stock is gonna be this same manufacturer. I would strongly suggest following them on socials to stay up to date with if and when those changes happen, so. Lots of corals. Um, these are done kind of by weight. We do have sometimes two bags of one color, like here. And I'll try to do some bigger chunks here. Wow, like every shade of pink and peach and coral. My goodness. Let's hop ahead. I want to get to these special drills. Okay. So actually, you guys, this is a really good side by side. <laughs> so we have 5200 and then we have the AB version of 5200. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis and these are named after the Northern Lights. Have a They have a really gorgeous shimmery effect. There's kind of a rainbow color shift look to them. They definitely stand out way more than these regular diamonds do and they're gonna really catch your eye and draw your eye to the areas that they have been charted and uh, like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna have five in this kit in total. So this big bag of 5200, this white AB. We have a little bag of this aqua AB, a little bag of this orangish yellow. It's kind of a magenta pink, a dark pink, and a light pink. Those look so pretty. Okay, let's look at the canvas and find where those really pretty ABs are going to go. So I am looking for um the check um, just make sure i'm looking at the right things okay so in her little ballet flats we have quite a bit of the dark pink almost magenta ab so we also have the light pink one i don't think i see it in there no okay and then we have some of the white ab right here and we have Make sure I'm not going to overlook anything. The sprinkles in her dress, the blue sprinkles are the aqua AB. There's little, just three and four bits here and there of those. And then there are white ABs in like the lines of her dress and this outline right here, all this white is white AB coming around here. It's going to give her dress kind of that like ethereal and maybe kind of almost a transparent vibe that white AB continues around here and there's lots of white AB up here too. this bright white that I'm pointing to is that the snow on the trees I think coming back over here to her dress there is white AB again here and here and the white you're seeing in here is white AB as well I'm looking for, oh, okay, I see it, I found it. I was gonna say that light pink AB. So the lighter pink AB is actually sprinkled in throughout her dress down here and over here. It's kind of a sprinkled outlining here. It's sprinkled in this pink area over here and sprinkled through this pink area in here. Give a little bit of a shimmer effect to her dress, I think. And then, there's a little bit of blue AB in here on her bodice. There's lots of white AB outlining here as well. Sorry for the glare. 
Um, and then make sure I'm not missing anything. Now as we're getting up into her face and her hair. Oh, over here we have a little bit of the dark pink magenta AB. And her wings, all of the white outlining you see in her fairy wings, all of this white around the edges and then these lines in here, those are all white ABs. Same with this wing over here. And then her crown is made up of that yellow with a, a kind of an orange tint to it. That's where you're gonna find that AB is right there. And these blue colors are the aqua AB. And there's some pink back here where you're seeing the candy cane through her wings. That's actually the pink AB. Ooh, that's gonna be pretty. This star has an outline of the light pink AB. And then over here, parts of this candy cane have the light pink AB. Actually, there's a lot of the light pink. Wait, do I have that right? Nope, I have that wrong, you guys. I'm so sorry. I have that wrong. I'm sorry, I was totally wrong about that. Okay, no, there's no pink AB seen through her wings. Not over here and not over here. I just, my brain mixed up with those symbols. Where were that light pink AB? My mistake, but the white AB is absolutely all still there. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Um, I think, I think that's about it. It's certainly possible that I missed some of the ABs, but hopefully, hopefully that kind of gives you a sense for where you're going to find a lot of those. Uh, the star does not have ABs in it either. My bad, you guys. I mean, you could add ABs if you wanted to. <laughs> no one's going to stop you, but that's not what has been charted. So Anyway, that is a look at the beautiful Sugar Plum Fairy. Just my first impressions of it, uh, looking at it here charted. I think this looks really beautiful. The colors are amazing. I love that there is obviously a lot of uh, really particular hand charting that's gone into this and there's color blocking and I'm a fan of that in places where it's gonna help things move along and not unnecessary confetti. I love the AB placement, the white AB placement. I am the most excited about <laughs> of what I'm seeing. And I think it's gonna be really, really pretty. And I feel like, you know, the winter season, like in the, the whole vibe of this totally goes beyond Christmas. So I may work on this in January or February just because it's so pretty, it's so happy. And I have been really happy with the kits that I have completed from Muni Made in the past. So like I said, I'll have those reviews linked below if you wanna go and take a look and get a sense for how these kits might look completed um, and hear my thoughts on the overall quality invite you to do so. Oh, this looks great, you guys. I think it's still in stock as of the time of this filming, and I'll have it linked in the description bo below as well, so you can go and go and take a look if it's one you want to pick up for yourself. I definitely recommend taking a look, if not at this kit, the other kits that Beauty Made has to offer, because there are some really, really cute ones, and the quality is really top-notch. So I'm going to let you go, but let me know in the, in the comments what you think. Is this one that you picked up or is on your wish list? Or are you going to go take a look at what Muni Made has to offer? I, as always, would love to hear what your thoughts are and look forward to, to reading them. So, Also, feel free to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with my diamond painting content. I try to do a lot of reviews and unboxings and tutorials and whatnot, and I would love to have you here. But I'm going to go ahead and let you go. I hope you have a day and a week that is as amazing as you are. And I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.